be. And if I was 350, Judge Yankee might not work. But if you do this as strong as you are, even 350 is no problem. Boom. Just you got to give the vibrations a little bit. Okay. So, the headlock. Get your base back. Grab the shoulder. Yep, and yeah, and I'll try to stay standing. You can go to the ground if that's what you want to do. Um, but usually I throw the guy and then fall up to the ground instead of going engaged with him. So it's just quick and back at it. Just gonna yank me where I have no base. Yes. Now from here you punch, you kick, you run, you decide to engage you. Check for other people you do, whatever you need to do in the situation. Every situation is different. Let's do that again. So like in the street fights, guess what? This is what happens. And guess what? This punch misses or he comes in on the punch, on the big swing, and this turns into a headlock. Headlocks are not always instinctual. Either they happen from me swinging and I turn a punch into a headlock on the street. Or we're duking it out, pretend to duke it out with me. Yeah, and then fucking jack me through a hand, and guess what? I get rolled, and I go, oh my god! It's the counter reaction. I've watched, I've bounced for 22 years, I've watched plenty of street fight footage. This is how headlocks really happen in the fight. So it's either we're just dog fighting, and this kind of overhand, because he charged, he was coming into me, and then because he came into me, oh, that turns into a headlock. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Good. Or we're duking it out. We're tough guys. We drink too much beer and we're young and we're done. Boom, he clocks me. Boom, I go, oh god. Then I get something like this. Boom. Okay. Good. So there's the best defense. Really, that is honestly the best. Now the next defense is a little more Brazilian Jiu Jitsu old school. As he's got the headlock, just nice and slow. I catch my base, okay? I tuck my chin in, that way I defend the neck. Right? If I'm right here, he can roll down, choke down. So I gotta tuck my chin and defend my neck, which also defends my face, because if he breaks my structure, he's looking to then go squeeze, squeeze, punch, punch, punch. And now he's punching my face. So I hide it so I get hit here instead of getting here, right? You'd rather get hit in the forehead and maybe break his knuckles then get hit in the nose and the chin. Okay, so I tuck my chin and I go in. So grab, tuck my chin, go in, grab my base. From there, he go. I get the hand control. He goes to hit. I go inside the bicep, or if I can't reach, I can tuck in here. So either around or inside, I decelerate the punches. So even if he still bangs me a little bit, it's in the top of the forehead. It's not in the face. And they're not big punches. If he goes swings wide, I'll go swing wide. I, I, I trap it in here. So I slow it down. Okay. As he's doing that, go swing, swing. He makes a space, right? I time it. As that's up, guess what? That's the energy. I slip out tight. I slip out tight to his back. I come up. I one hand choke him because he's a big guy. I give him a bleak kick in the back of the knee. I take him down. I choke him out. I break his shoulder. I do what I need to do. Okay. Uh, because he's tall, it's important to learn how to break structure backwards. And you can always do that once when a guy had all the bouncers up here. You can add that oblique kick. Or a palm strike to his lower back and butt to break the structure backwards. One more time and then I'll have you do it. So see what I do. I tuck, I got wrist control, I defend, or I defend. Okay? As you're going to swing, that's when I slip out. Come up. Yeah. Okay? And I can bump your back forward here, come here and you see how I got here, or it can be all right, time to go, time to leave buddy, time to leave, okay, as I'm talking to him, they loosen up, I don't, I relieve a little pressure on the arm, he starts to do this, or if he tries to rear elbow me, guess what happens to that hammer lock, it goes from here to touching his head, okay, he'll get a little surprise, okay, so I'm going on here on the headlock, boom, you got that wrist control, chin down, try and get your base better there. Yeah, so always counter your base, right? Now, I go, uh, 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 I try to roll you through, but hopefully your base is, yeah. And now I go for these swings, yes. And now time it, boom. Go to my neck, one hand lock down position on the neck, right? Break my structure, walk me backwards, or you can take me on the ground and choke me up.
Not bad. When you come out the back, it takes practice to not give space. I recently saw a crawl class that came way out with the head. You don't want to come way outside. Meaning, he's got this. I don't want to like, yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm going to stay tight to him realistic. Same thing. This escape works on the ground, guys. Look at my ultimate hammerlocks video. I'm here. I'm here. I'm going to slip out tight to him. And then I'm here. Okay. Try to, uh, you want to try the left side? Okay. So you're here. Bam. Okay. Base, base, base. Yep. Chin down. Bing. 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 Pulling back. Yep. He's in here. Boom. So when he pulls someone, you don't want me here because I'm strong and I can start keep fighting with you. So as soon as you get the upper hand behind someone, you get me here so I'm no longer strong. Now, it doesn't mean you have to take me down all the way. It just takes practice to learn to balance both yourself and the other person. If you don't have your own balance, you can't balance the other person. So I don't want to fall with you necessarily, but I don't want to, like, stay here where you're going to wrestle me forward. I'm going to bump you, and now do you feel like you can really fight me forward? Try to, yeah, and then I keep you in control. This is all one-handed, right? And I can walk you out, try and wrestle me back, and I can keep here. And I can slam you if I need you. See how I, I, I feel that balance point? If I gave you a little 10% more forward, you'd probably be able to wrestle out. You should probably power back with your core. And now it's a fight again. But if I feel that, I just keep you a little, sorry. <laughs> I just keep you a little bit farther back. Um, one, two, those are the main ones. Um, oh, even better. Let me show it. Better yet is I'm here or fighting and there's multiple guys and he comes in for that headlock. Better yet is whoop, whoa! Before my structure gets broken, I need to intercept this. Okay. So I'm here. Boom. Sorry. And I cross face here. My neck's back strong. And now I can grab the eyes, the face, the nose, and I'm also going to head tilt back this way. You see how? Kya! 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 They're so easy to do. Okay. A little bit of fun. Um, so, let's say we're here wrestling, you just come in on a strong headlock, really trying to headlock. Yeah, now come on, you really trying to headlock. Yeah, let's start again. Come on, really come in. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't surprise me with that one. So, there's all kinds of stuff you can do when you are in balance yourself, guys. So, this is becoming a long part thing. And the video is about to end. Um, any last questions? Um, why don't you try the head reaper one back? I don't know a better name for it. So I come in on the headlock. And as I'm coming in right before you let me get broken down. So this is if you react fast. Boom. Yep. Backwards. You just reap it back. It's just, it's just another version of a head tilt. Yeah, good. That was much better. You see how you, you head tilted me back? Totally broke my structure. Let's try the other side. This one in here. Yes. Okay. But now keep your knee and your back um, tighter to me. You don't want to try it from way up here. Okay. Like, you want here to still have base and control here. Right. So when you grab me, look when you grab me. Go ahead. I'm not, no, go ahead, grab around my head. I'm not going to like, but I'm still going to stay inside here so I can steal your knife, your gun, whatever I need to do. Rip your balls as I take you down on the ground. Uh, whatever I need to do based on the situation. So I'm going to like, I do a lot of like, you, can, you want to make these karate come through movements that people make fun of. <laughs> you have this base for samurai type throws if you um, Cool. Let's see. Self-defense. What else? Anything else? Other stuff. Let's see. Bear hugs. The camera's about to die. Let's see. Still recording. I have two minutes left. Okay. Will you just grab me any way you can? Right away. Grab, grab, grab. All kinds of different grabs. I'm just going to like count on you. Grab a headlock, bear hug, wrist grab, throat grab, from the side, from behind, anything. Thank you.
Okay. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can resist a little bit. You can keep your bounce a little bit. But yeah, this is good. Well, this is the real stuff you want to do. I tried some wrist straps too, maybe, or throat grabs, something like that. Too. Not pretty, but it was instinctive. Go ahead and resist a little bit. You really choke me, you're really resist a 